this one is for people that use GTK Record My Desktop to uh, make screencasts. Now, as you know, GTK Record My Desktop it outputs a OGG video format, and with this video format, you can actually upload as it is to YouTube. However, that is a big file, and it wouldn't make sense because YouTube has a small little box, and you have this clear picture of a screencast. So, so yeah, you don't want to upload that big file, right? So we we actually gonna convert it, and there's two ways that I know of that we can convert it. One is with a um, DVD, the program to make DVDs, but we can use it just to, you know, convert the screencast. So we use the DivX here, this option. Now, click Add here, and you're gonna add in your screencast that you made with GTK Record My Desktop. So we're gonna search for the file, and we load it in. Okay, now um, it, this part doesn't really matter what you put. You know, it doesn't really matter. Um, right here, it, it does matter. Advanced option here. Now you want to put um, the video rate to a uh, thousand or two thousand um, because you don't want to put it too high. Okay, I mean you could if you wanted to, but I'm just saying for this example, I'm just put two thousand. Okay, and for the audio, um, one twenty eight is enough. You know, standard MP3. And um, let me see the video format here. Um, I recommend using this one because um, this one will only give you um, uh, the black bars at the bottom of your screen and the top of your screen. This one will give you four bars, the bottom, top, left, and right. Uh, it depends how big your screen is though, but I have a big screen so I, I see, I notice this. Okay, well, that's all it is in that. And uh, that's pretty much it for that. Okay, and if you want to um, preview it uh, click on preview down here see preview and they'll give you a uh, 60 seconds or whatever many seconds that you wanted to um, and you, you know you want to try it out just click forward here and they'll convert um, the sample 60 seconds and if it's clear enough for you then you don't have to do anything else but if it's not clear then you just change this to um, whatever you want, like higher, like 3,000 or whatever, right? So it's all up to you how how clear you want it to make it. So that's that. So you click OK, OK. Now um, the advanced option out here is use multi-core um, CPU, right? Check that. So now we're ready to um, convert. So we click forward here, right? And now um, they uh, they recommend not using FAT32, but I mean, our file is not that big, you know, it doesn't really matter. And just name it to whatever you want, and it's gonna output an AVI file when you're done. When you click OK, and then it'll output something, okay? Um, so you get the idea how to do that now. So that's with DVD. Now another way is uh, with uh, VLC. Okay, VLC will output a uh, MP4 format. Now with DVD, it converts really fast, but with the best quality that I know of is uh, with VLC. Um, mainly because DVD, it you know, it shrinks your resolution. Um, so I, I I don't really use that, but you could if you wanted to. This is the method I, I learn and I use every every time I upload my shits. So I'm just gonna show you what I know. So you click on wizard here, right? And on VLC. And on transcode, click on this. Next. And now you search for the pro I mean the the file, the OGG file that you made with your GTK record my desktop. Okay. So we have a uh, our OGG file here, and then uh, we click OK. Now it's here. Okay. So we click Next, and in here is the uh, the important parts. 
you want to click on this, click on this. Now in here, um, you don't want to use a MP4, you want to use a H264. This is a, um, a high compression for um, the MP4 formats. And I'm just going to leave it at default, 1000. Right? Um, and uh, the audio here, just leave it normal. And I use um, 128, but you can use whatever you want. Same goes for this. If you want to use something higher, that's all on you if you want. Okay. And just click next. And uh, ASF here. All right. Click next again. And it says um, what what the uh, the finished file is going to be like. Okay. So you know, choose. And you're going to name your finished file. We we'll call this a uh, final. And then you want to put in dot mp4. Right, and then you click save, and then when you click finish, it'll start rendering. Finish, it'll start converting. See, see. Now, like I said before, uh, um, with DVD, it's faster conver converting wise. With um, VLC is is lower, but it has better quality to me, and it outputs a uh, MP4, and the other one just outputs a uh, AVI. So that's how you do it. That's the two ways that I know of. Um, so yeah, use it.